this was a time in 1793 where sanitation was not at, at its best, and people were often recovering from other concurrent diseases, cholera, um, the flu, lots of viral infections. And if the immune system is busy fighting something else off, then it won't be able to fight off the yellow fever virus. 10% of the city's population died during that time. Probably 50, 60% of the population at some point would have probably had at least early symptoms of yellow fever and cleared the virus. The healthy were often not allowed to be anywhere near the sick since it was unknown who would get the disease and who would not. And so often people would flee from loved ones, children, parents, and leave them alone to die. The older and the younger population is more susceptible to the yellow fever virus as they are to many other infectious conditions. And they would be much more likely to get sick and die of the disease. But overall, it's more luck than anything else that gets you through yellow fever. There are seven or eight different serotypes of yellow fever, and some may be more virulent, stronger than others. And so partially it depends on which type infects which person. And that connection determines who will live and who will die.